All right, happy Friday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Time to check out what's happening in the tropics. And we do have a few issues. Of course, earlier this week, we had not one, but two hurricanes. We had Hurricane Imelda and Hurricane Umberto. Both of those have lost tropical characteristics and kind of fizzled out, but we still have a few areas to watch out there. So let's get right to it. First though, let's review where we've been so far this season. Of course, back in July, Colorado State University forecasters were predicting 16 named storms for the entire season, eight of those becoming hurricanes and three becoming major hurricanes. Our average numbers are fairly close to that. 14 named storms, seven of those hurricanes and three major hurricanes. So here's where we are so far this season with almost two months still remaining in our hurricane season for this year. So we've had nine named storms out of those those four have become hurricanes and out of those three have become major hurricanes. So here are the names. Of course, early in the season, we started off with Tropical Storm Andrea, Tropical Storm Barry, Chantal, Dexter. We kind of had a wave of tropical storms. Then our fifth name storm, of course, which was Aaron, blew up into a monster Category 5 hurricane. Thank goodness it didn't make landfall while it was at that tremendous strength with winds over 150 miles per hour. So we did get some big waves brushing the eastern coast of the U.S. with Aaron, but no major landfall. Next, we had Tropical Storm Fernand, and then we had Gabrielle, which exploded to Category 4 status at one point. And then after that, we had Umbra Berto, of course, which blew up to a category five. And of course, we had Imelda, which reached category two status before rolling over Bermuda just yesterday. So it's been pretty active at times this season. Now we're waiting to see if we could potentially get Jerry or Karen in the next two to seven days. Next couple of days, highly unlikely, but over the next week, hey, it is possible because we have two different areas that we are monitoring in the Atlantic Basin, which of course consists of the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf. So here's where we are with our hurricane season. Of course, hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin began on June 1st. So so we've made it through month one, month two, which was July, month three, August. We made it all the way through September, month four. Now we're into the fifth month, October. We've got to get through the rest of this month. And then, of course, we have November. So notice the peak was right around September 10th. We've kind of been going down the hill, down the roller coaster ever since then. And I think for the Houston area, for the Texas Gulf Coast, if we don't get anything by the middle of October, notice the chances really fall off after that. So we're going to monitor things all the way through the end of hurricane season, which ends on November 30th, because there's still a low chance something could happen. But for now, we have been very fortunate in in Southeast Texas. We haven't had a tropical depression, tropical storm, or a hurricane. Things could get interesting though as we go into the next week. Notice there's an increase in that tropical moisture. We actually have a couple of areas of disturbed weather that we're monitoring. One near Miami, South Florida, another just south of New Orleans. Of course, this time of the year, anything you, any time rather, you have showers and storms bubbling up in the Gulf or close to the Gulf. The water temps are still very warm and it's something that you really have to watch closely for any possible development. So this moisture is increasing. Like I said, we have those two disturbances. I think the greatest shot for heavy rainfall from the disturbances that we have, that tropical moisture will be the Florida Peninsula through the weekend, that area in red. So really the east coast of Florida. Of course, we had impacts here from those tropical systems kind of brushing by waves of heavy rain. And now we've got another possible system developing in between the Northwest Bahamas and Southern Florida. So if you are traveling from Jacksonville to West Palm Beach all the way down to Miami, there's going to be more of the rounds and bursts of heavy rain. So our forecast rain through Tuesday showing a lot of rain, the potential for three, four, five inches of rain for parts of the Florida Peninsula. But notice the secondary area of heavy rainfall in the forecast. This is going to be the North Central Gulf. So this is that other disturbance that we could have as we go into next week. So tropical moisture definitely increasing across the Gulf. Now you may be wondering, will any of that come towards the Texas Gulf Coast? I think a little bit of it will, but the majority of it should stay off to our east in Louisiana. 
Satellite radar will show the heavy rain that is brewing just to the south and southeast of New Orleans. Some of those showers are trying to get close, but most of that should hang out off to the east of Houston. So I want to put this into motion because our Fox weather tropical model does show a little disturbance going here. This is going to be through the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday, never organizing into anything too impressive. Probably won't even become a tropical depression, but it is going to quickly roll over land likely Monday and that will eventually spread a little bit more rain our way. So we've had some lower dew point and humidity levels, but we do continue to have a better shot for rain early next week. So there is that low shot for rain and there's a low chance for development with that tropical system down in the southern Florida area.